right, so rehash here. Quadrant one, the x is positive, the y is positive, the r is positive. So that means that all of our trig ratios, sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent, will all be positive. So all of these are positive, correct? Good. All right, the, other, the next quadrant, quadrant two, x is negative, y is positive, and r is positive. r is always positive. So let's think about which ratios use x, because that's the important thing. Cosine uses x. What else? Tangent uses x. So what's the only thing that doesn't use x? Sine. So since sine is y and r, sine will be positive. But cosine and tangent and secant and cotangent will both be negative. So in this quadrant, they are all positive. In this quadrant, sine is positive and everything else is negative. I don't know if you want to write this out or just leave it the way it is. Okay, quadrant three. Quadrant three has um, x negative and y is negative and r is positive. So what ends up happening? Sine is not positive. Sine is y over r, which is a negative over a positive. So negative, correct? Cosine would be x over r, which is a negative over a positive. So that will be negative. Tangent will be y over x, which is a negative over a negative. <gasps> positive. How many of you were thinking that they were all going to be negative? Okay, and then in the last quadrant, quadrant four, we have x is positive, y is negative, and r is al always positive. So what's negative and positive? Co um, sine uses y, so that'll be negative, correct? Cosine uses x, so that one will be positive. And tangent uses both x and y, one of which is positive, one of which is negative, so that ends up with it being negative. So what's the only one that's positive? Cosine, Cosine is the only one that's positive in that quadrant. Okay, I have a quick little mnemonic device to help you remember. Mnemonic device to help you remember which quadrant has the one that's positive, and then you just remember that everything else is negative. Okay? This is also a message for registration, which is coming up next month. Okay? So this is two messages in one. It's a mnemonic device to help you remember these, and it's a message for registration. Here it is. All students take calculus. There's your message as you register for your classes next year, unless you're a senior. Do you get the message? All students take calculus. It's not, it doesn't need a comma. It's just a statement. All students take calculus. Okay. Now here's the mnemonic device. Here's the mnemonic device for you. All is all. Students... The S in student stands for sign. Sign is the one that's positive. The T in take stands for tangent because in quadrant three, tangent is the one that is positive. And the C in calculus stands for cosine because in quadrant four, cosine is the one that is positive. So this is a little subliminal message I'm going to give you every day as we do these. I know, I should, huh? Okay.